Dear viewers, welcome to our channel again. In the interweaving between Audi and Huawei Intelligent Driving NBYD and NVIDIA, we have witnessed the integration of technology and industry and also highlighted the challenges and choices of Chinese companies in the face of global competition. However, is there a deeper reason behind all this? Why is it difficult for the Chinese industry to be of one mind and how to maintain autonomy? In the face of the challenges of the international market, how should companies choose and move forward between technology and market? When Huawei's innovative technology meets Audi's iconic four-ring logo, an exciting future driving revolution is quietly launched. The renowned German carmaker recently announced its decision to deepen its partnership with Chinese tech giant Huawei to jointly develop ads autonomous driving systems. This cross-border cooperation not only reflects the strength of the two companies in their respective industries, but also demonstrates the determination of the smart car industry to break through traditional boundaries and pursue innovation. With the continuous advancement of autonomous driving technology around the world, many international brands such as BMW and Mercedes-Benz have launched models with L3-level automatic functions. Despite this, most of these functions are only suitable for specific environments. However, Huawei's recent OTA upgrade has shocked the industry with its map-free navigation technology. The widespread deployment of this technology implementation allows vehicles to make decisions based on real-time traffic conditions without pre-setting routes, which marks a significant achievement in the field of smart vehicles to everything. Although on this stage of technology and industry convergence, BYD's cooperation with NVIDIA has attracted attention, but brought some emotion. NVIDIA has a reputation for chip design, but BYD faces a complex reality in the international market. Political factors and supply chain challenges make it difficult for the two sides to cooperate. By contrast, European manufacturers seem to have easier access to resources and more freedom of choice. In fact, we can observe that, to a certain extent. Domestic companies are facing a compromise between concept and practice in specific fields. Take BYD as an example. If it decides to use Huawei's chips, its journey to expand in the global market may be hindered. However, fortunately, its intelligent driving control system still has the potential for independent research and development. Although this is the case, it is really embarrassing to see that China's to top technology companies cannot join forces and jointly open an innovation bureau due to the situation. At the same time, the choice of the Q and D industry is to fully develop chips and systems independently and use this as a basis to enter the international market and become a dazzling landscape. Although there is still a certain gap from the synchronized development of the global market, the Q&D industry has started a strong attack on the accessible market. With its high-end equipment and extended range, the M9 directly confronts historic automakers and has shown its competitive strength in the electric vehicle industry that cannot be ignored. There are also many challenges in the popularization of charging piles. The extended range model provides a solution, even in areas where charging piles have not yet been fully built. The range and ease of use can be guaranteed. From a certain perspective, the path chosen between Huawei and Audi, BYD and NVIDIA reflects the realistic and idealistic attitude of Chinese companies in the face of global competition. They frankly acknowledge the current challenges and adopt pragmatic strategies to deal with them at the same time. They also invest resources forward-looking in the long-term development. Looking at the overall situation, despite some helplessness, every leap and attempt is to open up new situations and lead the trend of change. Autonomous driving not only involves technical aspects, but also reflects courage and innovation. Although we face challenges, we are standing on the threshold of a dynamic new era. Looking forward to the future of intelligent transportation, we look forward to the upcoming changes with high expectations. Audi's cooperation with Huawei is undoubtedly a deep integration of the automotive industry and the technology industry. 
Audi is looking at Huawei's technological advantages in 5G, AI, and other fields, while Huawei hopes to better apply its own technology to real life through cooperation with Audi. Behind this cooperation is a deep understanding of technology and a high degree of sensitivity to the market. Similarly, the cooperation between BYD and NVIDIA is also a typical fusion of technology and industry. It is China's leading company in new energy vehicles, while NVIDIA is a world-renowned chipmaker. Their cooperation aims to jointly promote the development of autonomous driving technology. Behind this cooperation is a deep insight into the future and a firm belief in innovation. Chinese companies face many challenges in the process of globalization. First, how to accept the challenges of the international market while maintaining autonomy. Second, how to find the best balance between technology and the market. These questions require our deep consideration. We can see that Chinese companies face both technological and market challenges in global competition. In this process, we need to have a clear understanding, clear goals, and firm determination. At the same time, we also need to have enough courage to accept challenges and meet the future. The integration of technology and industry is both an opportunity and a challenge. We need to seize this opportunity and face challenges bravely in order to win in the global competition. Finally, I would like to summarize today's video, hoping to provide you with some inspiration and value. In this era full of changes and challenges, the rapid development of intelligent network technology has brought us infinite possibilities. The cooperation between Audi, Huawei, BYD, and NVIDIA has not only brought new breakthroughs to the automotive industry, but also led the global technology industry forward. However, we cannot ignore the challenges and predicaments. I am worried that although Chinese companies have made great progress in technology research and development, they still face many uncertainties in the international market. Issues such as politics and supply chain may limit our development space and even affect the stability of the industrial chain. Therefore, I suggest that while strengthening international cooperation, we should pay more attention to the improvement of independent innovation capabilities. Increase investment in technology research and development, cultivate local outstanding enterprises, and strive to build independent brands with global competitiveness. At the same time, the government and enterprises should strengthen cooperation to jointly cope with market challenges and promote industrial upgrading and transformation to cope with future uncertainties and challenges. Only in this way can we maintain a leading position in the wave of intelligent network connection technology and achieve sustainable development and prosperity of the industry. Dear audience, welcome to share in the comment area. That's the end of today's video. See you next time for exciting content. Bye-bye.